Hi, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer. We're playing NES games in the order they came out in, and today we are playing a game called The Goonies 2, which happens to be a game that came out in 1987 from Konami. And let's take a look at the box. Uh, we got uh, Sean Astin there and Mama Fratelli and a bunch of people who weren't in the movie. And back of the box, the Fratelli's bad to the bone, so you better be badder. Packing a heap of ugliness, mean old Ma Fratelli come back for revenge and this time she plans to do away with the goonies for good one by one this crazed mama and her two nutty sons have kidnapped your fellow goonies hauling them off to a spooky shack and hiding them in a maze of adventure filled with danger including slippery ice cavern secret underground sea and an eerie attic you are now the only goonie left the fate of your friends is in your hand but saving the day won't be easy armed with your trusty yo-yo and whatever weapons you can find you're forced to fight off fearsome foes and solve menacing mysteries. You'll have to be willing to risk it all, being brave and bold to rescue your buddies, the Goonies. I loved the Goonies as a kid. It was one of my favorite movies as a kid. I think I saw it seven times in the theaters, which was like, I never went to movies more than once back then, but I loved it. So hopefully the game is, uh, what's all that? All right. Okay, so I'm a Goonie. I can jump. I got my little yo-yo. I got the Goonie music playing. Stupid spider. Can I go in the doors? Oh, I can. Okay. Ah, yes. I remember this game. It had these weird segments in them um these weird like first person 3d room segments I, I don't know what you call them i've got a key holder yay uh i think you could like hit the safe nothing happens okay so i can't really do anything here we'll leave That guy's a jerk. That bird's a jerk. Okay, now we're down here. Oh, come on. Okay, we'll go through this door. And we'll take the TV. Yay! Or a magic locator device. Same thing. <clears throat> and now we came out a door and we're in a different place. It's a little weird. I somehow have... I don't know, maybe AI I died. That's why I have full health. I have no idea what's going on. There's a snake, though. I seem to remember this game had a weird mermaid or something in it. Just like in the movie. You know, the mermaid from the movie. And I don't think we ever got the Goonies 1 game in North America. <sighs> yeah, okay. You can jump when I don't need it. I hate this snake. There we go. Let's go up here. And we're in another house. Stupid birds. I think this is one of those games you had to map out in order to actually be good at it. Oh, okay. I remember this from the movie. Take this. It's a warp zone. Okay. Um. What do you do? Uh, hit you with a hammer? What? I have no idea what happened. 
warp zone? It seems to be in the same place. I don't know. That old man's weird. And creepy. And I don't like him. I like the song, though. Without Goonies, would there be a Stranger Things? Okay. Oh, God. Okay. I've seen enough of the Goonies. Graphics. Uh, two and a half sound. Um, to music. I'm going to give music a, a six because I like that song. Story. They made up a Goonie sequel. Um, mermaids and stuff. Two. Controls. They're okay. Jumping can be a little funky. Um, funness. A two does it hold my attention a little bit just because of the Goonies theme, but overall I think we're gonna give this a two and two five. And that's it. We'll see you next game. <laughs>